the real war gamer here uh, with introduction to Starfleet battles. Um, uh, get started with the first uh, section of the rules, programmed instruction. I'm uh, going to get to uh, actually flying our ship here. Um, uh, but before, yeah, <laughs> SFB, it's already. Um, well, it generates uh, it generates interest. Um, I think that the I think the original designer, uh, and I know a bunch of USFB um, devotees are yelling at the computer screen now, but it is Stephen Cole. Uh, yeah, Stephen Cole. I think Stephen Cole definitely. Um, I think he he hit on a. Uh, uh, well, it has come to be classic, but I think he hit on a a a, uh, a core design that is really compelling. Um, probably true of Squad Leader game. Probably true of uh, Panzer Blitz. Probably true of the Russian campaign. But SFB is is there because, and I'm already seeing interest. I just don't see any like. Don't see space or anything, but uh, but uh, compelling gameplay. Um, I do see the possibility. I do see lots of possibilities for that. Um, I'm not a. Uh, I do not even call myself a Star Trek fan. Uh, I certainly appreciate the um, you know the artistic uh, achievement, I guess, of the whole Star Trek uh, phenomenon, universe, stories, TV show, movies, etc. Um, um, but that's not, that's not what's, that's not what's driving me here. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, um, I can see, I can see a lot here. I still, um, will say that, you know, I, I don't necessarily see SFB becoming my summit game. Uh, for that, it's still, I think, attack, was it, um, Oh, no, jeez, I shouldn't have tried to remember off the top of my head. The attack vector, uh, um, well, I'll get to it. <laughs> uh, Ad Astra game, I believe. Um, that's my summit game. But that summit game isn't even on my horizon. Uh, there are so many other games I want to just experience, including this, uh, as I make my way up to uh, that game. Um, uh, so yeah, that game isn't isn't even on the horizon uh, at, at someday. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, I made made my photocopies, um, and I do think that we're ready. Uh, oh, I know what. Um, I've already scanned the first section rules, uh, and I think I am going to do something that I don't normally do. Um, I know some more gamers do this. Well, some more gamers are very good at this. Uh, I am both not a war gamer and not good at it. But I think this one's going to work. I think I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play using, you know, what I recall, because the rules are so nicely laid out. Um, so I'm just with the first section. As far as the first section goes, there are 12 sections for this intro to SFB. I mean, it is really um, a success for, you know, for what it's supposed to be. So I think rules are so well done uh, so far, so well laid out. I think I can just play. And then afterwards, I'll see uh, if I missed anything or got anything wrong. Okay, having said what I said there, I'm still going to follow as much as I can the 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 rules with the program instruction. So I think the very first thing I'm doing here is um, they have this uh, this little section. Have you piloted a ship out of Star Dock? Uh, we might as well do this now. The ship must move to the correct starting position for the first scenario, which is what I'm heading to. So get the counter for the const uh, constellation. Oh, that's funny. I thought it was constitution <laughs> constellation. Um, and the playing map. Uh, spread the map out uh, flat on a table. Place the counter representing the constellation in hex 0523 0, 0, 0, 0. Oh, okay. Wait. Got the wrong area. Right, let's try this again. 0523 right there. And then which way is he facing? Uh, in direction F, we have the the little letter directional thingy up there. 
Oh, so he's facing he's facing that way. 0523 faced in direction F. You have one turn to get the ship into the starting position. Heck, 0117. Zero, oh, 0117 over there, right in the corner of that. The A quadrant. We've got the A quadrant. Bravo, Charlie and Delta. Um, during this turn, the ship will move at a speed of 8. That is, it will move 8 hexes. Your turn mode is 2, so I guess I might as well get my point of turn mark. I think that's the right one. You must move 2 hexes in the same direction before you can turn. You could move directly into hex 01. Is a typo. You could move directly to hex zero one two one zero one two one. Okay. All right. <laughs> By moving through hexes zero four two two zero three two two zero two two one zero one two one. Then turn right direction A to face hex zero one uh, two zero. Then move uh, forward four hexes. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, two, zero, one, one, seven. Alternatively, alternatively, uh, you could get a bit, bit fancy and move zero, four, two, two, zero, three, two, two, turn right to zero, three, two, one, zero, three, two, zero, turn left. Zero two one nine zero one one nine turn right to zero one one eight zero one one seven. There are other possible ways to move. It is important, however, to end in zero one one seven facing in direction A um, and with your turn mode satisfied, that is having already moved two hexes in direction A, so that you can turn immediately upon entering this narrow. So so just to zero back to zero five two Three, yeah. Um, so when they go one, two, hmm. So when does the? <laughs> this is very very basic, but um, the turn point of turn markers. Counter sheet includes two sets of point of turn markers, each consisting of four counters. Uh, the, these can be used as play A to keep track of turn modes whenever a ship turns and enters a new hex. Okay, so it would be turn move. Place the turn uh, marker in the hex it just left. Okay, that, that's what I was wondering. So I think it would be like that, and then it would go again. And so it's gone too. So then when it turns and moves, I think that would go there, I think. That's the idea. And then two, and then turn forward like that. I think that's how you do it. I think that's how you do it. So moving, turning, and point of turn marker. Now we can get to now we can get to the first scenario. All right, cadet scenario number one, battle drill. This scenario is training exercise. Commander of the constellation assigned to track down. And destroy a series of five target drones. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so I've got... Oh, here we go. I made my copies. So I need my Federation Cadet Cruiser. So Federation Cadet Cruiser. SSD. And I think this is for the... Where are they? Where are the... Where are the firing arcs? I guess that F.A. up there? Oh, but there's still... Oh, okay. Um, was that... <laughs> I don't even know my phaser from a photon. Uh, PH1, um, phaser 1, left side, phaser 1, right side. Oh, there's a photon torpedo forward arc. I'll say, so it's just listed near the weapon. Because this one, there's another phaser one. Wait, phaser one or photon one? Oh, fault is. All right, so phaser one forward arc. Okay. So. 
So that's that. I don't see any more. All right, shield, left warp, right warp, um, shuttle, hull, battery. I don't even know what APR is. Whatever APR is, impulse, whatever that is. Hull, hull, bridge, tran, tran, what's tran? Tran, um, the little um, transporter thingy, laboratory. Okay, and then shield, 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 shield. Okay. All right, but I think for this one, it's just for the firing arcs. All right, so I've got that handy. Uh, well, so I, I can, I guess I can put it under here. Okay, do that in a minute. Um, okay, so do I, I do need the basic impulse procedure chart. Okay, here, um, the map, counter uh, constellation, five Klingon drone counters, one, one die, a pencil, yes, and scratch paper, cadet sequence of play, the cadet sequence, there it is, cadet sequence of play, and put all other materials aside. Okay, so, I guess I'll, ship cannot be damaged, there will be no need to mark, there will be no need to mark on the SSD, um, is used only to remind you of the firing arcs of your phasers in later scenarios. When the ship can be damaged, okay, uh, scenario setup, all right. Might as well scenario set up. Uh, this takes place within this quadrant A here. Um, any drone which leaves this area has escaped and cannot be fired at. If the ship leaves the area, the scenario is over. If you have already uh, placed the ship... Oh, you have already placed the ship in 0117 facing A. Uh, yeah. Uh, the ship will move at a speed of 8 hexes per turn during the entire scenario. The player can turn the ship as allowed by its turn mode um, two, which is two at a speed of eight, which I remember is right here, turn mode. This is one to six, one, seven to sixteen, two. So he's going a speed of eight, which is when the set which is within the seven to sixteen range, so its turn mode is two. You've already satisfied your turn mode. Place the counter for drone A. Drone drone A. Alright. There's drone A. Um, 0107, right there, facing in direction C. That. Um, drone B, 0213, 0213, oh, facing B. Um, drone C in hex 0711, 0711, facing direction D. Um, drone D in hex 0816, 0816, facing F. Like that, and, and drone E in hex 0801. So 801, it's way up there, facing in direction D. Um, all right, each drone moves straight ahead at a speed of eight hexes per turn. Each drone is destroyed by four damage points scored at the same or different times. Keep track, yeah, I knew there was a reason for the scratch paper. So keep track of each drone and the damage points scored on, on your scratch paper. Obje oops, objective, um, so I'm gonna use my, my uh, play aid over here. Um, so I think I want to go... How did I miss this? How did I miss this? So this is turn... turn one... Um, I guess in... where's impulse and step? Oh, okay, I guess this goes directly on the eight impulse move chart. Okay. And then... I guess these are steps. Basic Im impulse procedure chart. Okay. All right. That's for each. That's for each impulse. So we go through the big. So we go through. Okay. Go through the basic impulse steps for each impulse, which is an eight impulse at the beginner level here, for a total of whatever. How many turns do I have? 
Um, two turns. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So. Um. All right. That's the setup. Um. I think everything could begin now, but they do have a nice. They walk you through the first turn, which is pretty neat. Um. I will think about what to do next before I record again.